It's that time of year when thousands of students are graduating. It's happening all over our area, and we congratulate all of our graduates for a job well done. But in Plant City, one graduate has achieved something extra special, the highest GPA in the history of her school. She has an 11.0 GPA. Like 11, like 11. 11.0. Yeah, she took a ton of <laughs> high-level courses, aced them all. As Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers reports now, big numbers are nothing new in her house, though. This is 18-year-old Tina Kumar by the numbers. I am valedictorian in my class with an 11.0 GPA, so I was ranked number one. Number one, or really any number, since Tina was a little girl. She's loved numbers. It was always math and science for me. Like, I took AP chemistry and just, like, pre-calc and calculus. Those are classes that, like, I genuinely enjoy taking. Her 11.0 GPA, highest in 50 years at Plant City High School, where three Kumar sisters have now posted high GPA numbers. 8.03. 9.64. 11. Look at any number of Kumar pictures, and there's always one who graduated number one. And you are all valedictorians? Yes. <laughs> number three was inspired by number one. I was in sixth grade whenever she graduated top of her class. So when I went to her graduation, I was like, whoa, this is so cool. And another one, Serena, away at college, likes math too must run in the family. Well, our dad was an engineer, so... <laughs> so dad says numbers don't lie. I always tell in my family when I talk to him, my wife, one plus one is two. <laughs> there is no other option. A big family that supported daughters with high numbers, including the amazing 11.0 GPA for Tina. My goal was never to just beat my sisters. It was just to see like what I could do. Very proud of them. They make me proud and I'm so happy about them. And only a dad can do the math that somehow makes them all number one. Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. So Tina with that 11 GPA is taking her talents to USF. She and all of her sisters won careers in healthcare and what a great place for it. She says she just wants to help people. She graduates tonight at the State Fairgrounds.